when did I know I was black? Well, that's like a two part question because I've always known I was black, always. My grandma said, the black are the berry, the sweet are the juice. My mum came from an era where it was, you know, black is beautiful. So I always knew I was black, proudly black, defiantly black, unapologetically black. As you guys in the USA, blackity black, 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 right. Always knew it, never, never questioned. When did I know that being black was something different? I was about nine and um, I went to my hometown, it's called Birmingham, it has the largest Jamaican community in Britain, population of about 1.3, 1.4 million. Um, and, you know, I saw black people all the time, that wasn't a really big deal. Now maybe I went 20 miles, 30 miles maximum outside of Birmingham. And um, I went to, with my mum's friend, went to visit someone and there were two young kids same age as me roughly. And they said, oh, I've never seen anyone like you before. And I was like, what do you mean like me? Because I didn't really understand it. And they said, oh, well, we've only seen Trisha Goddard. She's definitely not the version of Oprah, but she's a television host, like a fa famous black woman who was on television at the time. And they said, um, yeah, you know, I've never seen, I've only seen Trisha on television. I've never seen you, someone like you up close. And at the time I didn't, I didn't really process it as being anything. I thought it was hilarious. Like, how could you not see black people? Because where am I? Where are I? And there's all black people like, what's going on? Um, and I remember kind of relaying the story. I think I related to my mom. I think I related to like friends, but not because I was little. So, you know, it wasn't in any sort of context. It was, this is funny. Somebody said they'd only seen me look like someone like me on television. And I think that, that was really the first time. But once again, it wasn't, I didn't, really feel any particular way about it. I just thought, hey, they're strange. How can they have not seen black people? This isn't that far away from where I live. Um, but yeah, that, that was kind of it. But then growing going through life, um, was also always unapologetically black. Never, never had a, never felt that my blackness was ever a disadvantage. It was only later in life that I articulated that, that I realised that you couldn't, I couldn't separate my gender from my race and that that had definitely played a role in situations that, had, that I'd been in professionally. But beyond that, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's my story in a nutshell. So today I'm still proudly, unapologetically and defiantly black. Every day. <laughs> so that's my story. Wishing you a great day.